Hello and welcome back to AP Computer Science. Today I'm going to be going over the 2016 free response questions. That was in the exam that was just recently um, published. So uh, for this first question, uh, what we're asked to do is we're asked to make a random string chooser class. So um, you can go ahead and look at the questions online, but I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So first thing that we're going to want is a, um, private instance variables to keep track of the array and the current um, index that we're at in the array. So we're going to go ahead and make our string array here and we're just going to call it a and we're going to make an integer to keep track of where we are in the array. I'm just going to call it cur for current. So next we'll probably want to make a constructor. So we're going to go ahead and make a constructor like so. And that's of course going to take in the string array. Let's label that ARR. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to set current equal to zero. And we're going to set ARR, or sorry, A equal to ARR. That way we can put this guy in here. And the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, shuffle the array. And that should be all we need to do. So to shuffle it, I'm going to go ahead and make a private uh, method here, like so. And it's going to shuffle the array. So uh, to do this, we're going to first have an integer. Well, I'm going to have a string called temp, and we're going to have an integer called um, rand. And that's going to be a random number that we generate. So with those, we're going to do a for loop for um, i equals 0 up until uh, the end of the array. We're going to increment by 1 each time. And then we're simply going to swap um, our swap the string at index i with a random uh, index, with a random with an element at a random index. Okay, so that's the comment there. I'm going to go ahead and get the random number first. Rand is going to be, so first we cast to an integer, and then we go ahead and use math.rand, random rather, and that's going to generate a number between 0 and 1 randomly. Then we can multiply it by our scale, and that's going to be a.length, and that'll give us our random index, and then we're going to set uh, temp equal to uh, rand, shoot, temp equal to a at i, and then we're going to set a at i equal to a at rand, and then we're going to set a at rand oop, equal to a, uh, and equal to temp rather. Okay, so that's going to perform a swap. So it's going to swap. Um, the element that index i with some random element. And that should shuffle up our array so that we can randomly choose strings. So next we need to implement our next, or get next method rather. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. All right, so get, um, it's going to be public string get next. And it's going to look like this. We're going to check if um, cur is greater than or equal to um, a dot length, and if it is, we simply want to return none. I believe it's all caps. Otherwise, we want to return um, a at cur, but then we want to increment it so we can move current along. So that should be our code for get next, and that should be our code for the random string chooser. And I made a little driver here. I'm going to go ahead and comment out this part, because that's for part B. And we're going to go ahead and run it. And if you see here, we've got everything we want. So that appears to be working fine. Run it a few more times. Yeah, looks good. So part B asks for random letter chooser. So here it is. And they provide for us uh, this method here. They just don't implement it, but I did it really quickly. So uh, what we need to do is implement the constructor here. So this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, constructors are going to be public and then the class name. 
and this takes in a string, um, you can call it what, or just a normal string rather, str. All right, and then we need to um, go ahead and implement this method. So we're going to go ahead and call super, and we're going to call super on get single letters of oh, str. And that should be all we need for that. Right, because get single letters is going to turn whatever str is into an array of single letter strings. And then if we call the super constructor, it's going to call this one right here. That's going to perform everything that random string chooser would do. So that was really like a one line question. That's all you needed right there. And we can go back to our driver, uncomment this stuff out, and we can run it. And it looks good. So we have cat and then none. Then we have TCA and none, ACT and none. So it looks like everything's running fine. So that's how you would implement part one of the um, 2016 free response question. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be going over question two. Thanks for watching.